Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy menu. So first thing you're going to want to do is go to UI, right click UI, Canvas. Now this will be where our, all our UI elements will be inside this game object here. It will automatically create this event system, make sure you don't delete that. And inside our Canvas we're going to right click UI, and then I'm going to go to text, this will be our title, title of our game whatever it may be. And then I'm going to create some buttons so inside a canvas right click UI button. Now I'm going to make two more of these buttons. One will be our start button, one will be our exit button, and one will be our options credits button. So I'm just going to go ahead label these here's our start which will bring us to our next scene. Here's our options button, which will open up a new panel. And then here's our exit button, which will exit the game. Alright, so now that that's all set, we're going to right click, create a C sharp script, which I already did. This will be our menu manager script. So here's my menu manager script. First thing you're going to want to do is put in using Unity Engine C management. And then here I made some public voids so we could easily implement these into our buttons. Hence the word public. And then you can name this whatever you want. This is what will happen when we press the start button. And this is what will happen when we press the exit button. So what I'm going to do is use the scene management and we're going to load the next scene in our build index in our build settings plus one. So the next scene after this current scene it will load. And then in our exit game we're going to quit the application. So application dot quit and this will exit the game for us. So when the players press exit game button this will function will happen here. It will exit the game. So this is a way to easily implement anything into any sort of buttons inside of a uh, canvas. All you have to do is create a public void. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that. So now on our start button Actually, I'm going to put the script inside our canvas here. And now inside our start button, in our on click down here, inside of our inspector, we could make it do something. So we're going to drag in the object that we attached the script to, which would be our canvas. And then we're going to call the script menu manager, and we're going to call our method our start game. And then we're going to do the same for our exit button. Drag in the canvas. Exit game. Go ahead and save that. Now we're going to work on the options button. So when we press the options button, I want to open up a new panel inside our canvas. So inside our canvas I'm going to right click UI image. I'm going to call this options panel. I'm going to actually extend the image here. This will be our background. And inside the options panel I'm going to right click UI text. I'm just going to call this options. And I'm going to deactivate this panel here. Inside of our button, right here in on click, we will drag in our options panel and then add in the function, which would be game object set active. I'm going to check this. So now this will open up our options panel. And then inside of our options panel, we're going to need a close button. 
which would be pretty much the same logic UI button I'm gonna call this close I'm gonna bring this down here same logic options panel game object set active don't check that we're gonna deactivate this panel and now I'm gonna go test so here we have our basic menu options brings up our options panel I'll close that if I press exit it should exit the game but since I'm testing this in the editor it's not gonna work but it should work and then if we press start it's gonna go to the next scene